Hello dear students, hope you are doing good. Welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of quadrilaterals, we shall be taking solved examples 4, 5, 6 and 7 which are based on quadrilateral concepts part 2 in which we had discussed different types of quadrilaterals and their properties. Now these are the four examples which we are going to take up in this video. Let's start with example 4. ABCD is a parallelogram in which angle A is equal to 70 degree. Find the remaining angles of the parallelogram. Now in parallelogram ABCD, as you can see in the figure, AD is parallel to BC. So we can say that angle A and angle B form co-interior angles and they are supplementary. That means angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degree. Now substituting the value of angle A is equal to 70 degree. In the equation, we get 70 degree plus angle B is equal to 180 degree. So angle B is equal to 180 degree minus 70 degree which comes to 110 degree. So we have calculated angle B using co-interior angle property that, and that is coming 110 degree. Now, since opposite angles of the parallelogram are equal, we can say that angle C is equal to angle A equal to 70 degree and angle D is equal to angle B equal to 110 degree. So, this is how we have found the remaining angles of the parallelogram. Now, let us take up example 5. In the given figure, PQRS is a parallelogram. Find the angles of the parallelogram if the exterior angle RQT is equal to 100 degree. Now, if you remember in example 4, we were given one of the interior angles of a parallelogram and we had to find the remaining three angles of the parallelogram. Whereas in example 5, we are given the exterior angle of the parallelogram and we have to find all the remaining four interior angles of the parallelogram. Now let's start with the solution. So in the given parallelogram PQRS, we can see that RQP plus RQT form linear pair. So their sum is 180 degree. So we can write angle RQP plus angle RQT is equal to 180 degree and further RQT is 100 degree that is given to us exterior angle. So angle RQP will be equal to 180 degree minus 100 degree which comes to 80 degree. So we can say angle RQP is 80 degree. Now let us find angle P. We can see that angle RQP and angle P form co-interior angles of a parallelogram and they are supplementary. That means their sum is 180 degree. So we can say angle RQP plus angle P is equal to 180 degree. Further angle P is equal to 180 minus 80 which is equal to 100 degree because RQP we have calculated in the first point that has come to 80 degree. So angle P will be 180 degree minus 80 degree is equal to 100 degree. Now further we shall calculate angle S and R. Now we know that the opposite angles of the parallelogram are equal. So angle S is equal to angle RQP which is equal to 80 degree and angle R is equal to angle P which is equal to 100 degree. So we can say the angles of the parallelogram PQRS are angle P 100 degree, angle Q 80 degree, angle R 100 degree, angle S is equal to 80 degree. Now let us take up example 6. In ABCD quadrilateral, AB is parallel to CD and AB is equal to CD. Show that it's a parallelogram. So in this question, we are given a quadrilateral ABCD where AB is parallel to CD and AB is also equal to CD and we have to prove that it's a parallelogram. Now always remember whenever we have to prove that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, we have to prove the alternate angles to be equal. When the alternate angles will be equal, naturally the opposite sides will be parallel and this is how we are going to prove the, uh, the quadrilateral to be a parallelogram. Now to prove alternate angles equal, we have to take up two triangles and prove their congruency. So what we are going to do in this quadrilateral ABCD, let us draw the diagonal BD which will divide it into two triangles that is ADB and CBD. 
Now while naming the triangles, make sure that you write the names according to the angles which are opposite to it. Like A will be equal to C and D will be equal to B. So when you are writing A, D, B of one triangle, you will write C, B, D of the other triangle. Now let us start with the uh, congruency. So AB is equal to CD. That is the first thing which is given to us that AB is equal to CD. Now since AB is parallel to CD, we can say angle 1 is equal to angle 2 because they are alternate interior angles. Now also we can say that BD is equal to DB that is the common side. So these three parts we are taking to prove the congruency that is AB is equal to CD and angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and BD is equal to DB that is the common side. So hence we can say that triangle ADB is congruent to triangle CBD by SAS congruency. Now since we have proved the congruency now we can say that angle 3 is equal to angle 4 by CPCT or we can say corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. Now if you observe angle 3 and angle 4 are pairs of alternate interior angles and they are equal. So when the alternate angles are equal we can say the opposite sides are parallel that means AD is also parallel to BC. Now AD is parallel to BC we have proved just now and AB is parallel to CD that was given to us. So since in quadrilateral ABCD both pairs of opposite sides are parallel that is AB is parallel to DC and AD is parallel to BC we can say ABCD is a parallelogram. Now let us take up example 7. Two adjacent sides of a parallelogram are in the ratio of 2 is to 3. If the perimeter of the parallelogram is 50 cm, find the sides of the parallelogram. Now in this question we are given a parallelogram whose two adjacent sides are in the ratio of 2 is to 3. Perimeter is also given to us 50 cm and we have to find all the sides of the parallelogram. Now let us assume the adjacent sides of the parallelogram be 2x and 3x. Now we know th that opposite sides of the parallelogram are equal. So other two sides will also be 2x and 3x. Now the perimeter of the given parallelogram is 50 cm. And we know that the perimeter is the sum of all the sides. So basically 3x plus 2x plus 3x plus 2x is equal to 50 cm. Or we can say twice of length plus breadth is equal to 50 cm. So accordingly we can write 2 times of 3x plus 2x is equal to 50 cm. Further 3x plus 2x is 5x. 2 into 5x is 10x. So 10x is equal to 50 cm. So x is equal to 5 cm. So hence the sides of the parallelogram will be 3 into 5 that is 15 cm and 2 into 5 will be 10 cm and because the opposite sides are equal so we will have the sides as 15 cm, 10 cm, 15 cm and 10 cm. So this is it. Hope you have understood all these examples. Thank you everyone. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Have a great day ahead.